Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, it's kind of a promised episode I've been talking about for a while. How to get that perfect first layer, per se. So, we've uh, talked in the past about several different key pieces. This first key piece is what are you attaching that first layer to? Is it tape? Is it PEI? Uh, again, I prefer PEI, and I've done a complete video on this, and I'll have it linked below my first printer video with talking about the different types of adhesion uh, to the printer. So, number one piece to get a good first layer, obviously you have to have some something good for it to sit on, some physical layer for it to uh, attach to. This is critical. And this isn't the gist of this video, but I kind of want to start out there because you can't do this and not have this. So it kind of all builds uh, upon one another. So the first piece is having a good substrate to build upon, whether it be blue tape or it be PEI or an acetate or glue. It's important to have a surface that it connects to. The next important thing is tramming. In other words, your, your printer should be trammed as good as it can possibly be. Again, I did a video on that. I'll have a link for it below. Take a look at that. Now, assuming that you have completed both of those, you have a good substrate to bond to, and you have a properly trammed machine, the next piece to talk about is your slicer, is the G-code component or the slice component or the math that's going to make all this happen. Now this is rather simple and you old hacks out there probably already know this and if you do kind of bear with me a little bit because some of the newer folks maybe the novice or intermediate that really haven't ventured past some of the main screens of their slicer I think will find this useful and interesting. So one of the things and I'll do a little bit of an overlay too on this video of, of Cura of the the one Cura screen where these settings are. Now most all modern slicers have these settings. They're not that complex, but most people overlook these and just go right to the basic tab and go to it. And they wonder why they have problems. And I'm going to talk about why I have why I use these settings, what do they affect, and why you want to use them. So let's start out with the first one, initial layer thickness. So this is a very important one because what I do is I always go uh, basically 0.1 up from whatever I'm doing. So if I'm point, printing with a 0.2 millimeter layer height, I always make this 0.3. If I do 0.1, I make it 0.2. Why do I do this? Your first layer is like the foundation of your house. You need to have a very strong foundation. So you want to lay a good baseline down and you want to put a, a relatively good amount of plastic. Now you might say, Joe, well if you're printing at 0.1, why don't you make it 0.3? Why do you go just point 0.1? Well, I don't, you know, when you do that, you do some dimensional modifications because you're going to have different expansion contraction characteristics of your plastic. And if you make it too big, too much of something isn't is, is, is a good thing either. So I found going point 0.1 above whatever I'm printing at works pretty successful and gives me clean. The other thing you'll find is if you go too big here you kind of get uh, some sharp edges that you have to clean off and you kind of get an excess of that and it makes your prints look a little bit funny. So again this is one of the reasons I found 0.1 millimeter. Now you say Joe what about 0.3? Well when you're printing 0.3 that's a pretty rough print and so I just use 0.3 for 0.3 uh, millimeter. So uh, again 0.1 equals 0 0.2, 0 0.2 equals 0 0.3, 0 0.3 equals 3, 0.3. Okay, so that being said, we've now got sort of the foundation of our house or our print down. The next piece, now this is the critical trick that I discovered. And, and I discovered this a while on into 3D printing. And remember, I've printed thousands of prints. And so this one is, I think, one of the most critical ones. And this is the initial layer line width. This is where you get to tell for your first layer, your initial layer, to tell the printer to over extrude and only over extrude this one layer. Now you may sit here and say, Joe, why do I want to over extrude this? It, you know, this, this can't be a good thing. Well, it is because as I covered in the tramming video, the, your bed is not perfect. And what's going to happen is if you over extrude this uh, filament, what's going to happen is it's going to fill in voids and then it's just going to push itself out of others. So kind of if you think about it this way, where we have a void, the plastic will look like something like this. And where we don't have a void, the plastic will come out looking something like this. What happens is this basically gives you 
a, a, a near perfect level or a high quality level it kind of levels it out it's like if you've ever done floors and used leveling compound this is the equivalent and this is what I found is really key and especially to prevent uh, you know not prevent but uh, achieve adhesion to that first layer of the other layers because what's going to happen is if you have a very nice first layer here and very uniform without pits or, or you know hills and valleys the next layer is going to stick to it better than if there were these hills and valleys in it the third component to this is uh, bottom layer speed slow it down I recommend no more than one half so if you're running uh, say 50 millimeters a second slow this down to at least 25 maybe even 20 so I found half usually works pretty good um, in, in the mix uh, because again what you want to do is in this scenario is to give the material time to adhere to whatever substrate think about it this way when we do this first layer what we're doing is we're taking one form of plastic and attaching it to something else whether it be this blue painters tape or this PEI sheet what's going to happen is it's going to take some time you know think of it more like glue and I'm analogizing this so chemists out there don't pick on me so if you think of it like glue you want to give it a little bit of time to set up before you just go dragging it along and so by going at this slower rate it uh, allows for better adhesion to the substrate now when you go through in your next layer your your second layer obviously this is kind of lichen kind plastic the lichen kind plastic and it's going to like to stick to it to itself better than it wants to stick to something else so this is why you can go faster and i, I tell you what i've used these three successfully and I'll knock on wood over here. Maybe I'll bump you a little bit. But through these, I have had zero issues of adhesion. Now, once and again, with ABS, I do run into a little bit of issue on uh, printing on PEI. I don't use any ABS slurry anymore. I don't use any glue. I don't use any of that. I do use some tape on PLA just because I've been too lazy slash busy to get a PEI sheet for some of the printers uh, but uh, again I'm pretty much just printing uh, whether it's hips uh, whether it's ABS whether it's PLA um, and PEG I'm all printing on PEI and I'm all getting great results using this combination of again a strong substrate to attach to a well trammed bed and these three parameters so again I promise I'm going to share this with you guys. Again, if you knew about this and it's all hat, eh, thanks for bearing with me. If you have other suggestions and comments, I'd love to hear them. What can I add to this? What are you using? Are you using these today? Let me know in the comments your thoughts, and I'd be happy to kind of, you know, if there's some good ones, put together another video on this and share those or experiment with them and let you guys, the viewers, decide how they work out. Because uh, that's what all this is about, is me trying to help you get a better 3d print or laser cut or cnc or what have you but anyways i'm rambling now so tell you what swag shop's going to be up there comment is always down below don't forget to subscribe i put out regular content always look forward to constructive comments down below because i love hearing from you guys and if you need some help with this or have questions i'm always happy to help too so see you guys in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel Thanks.